Welcome to Hey Rhonda's Bee Reviews. <laughs> um, this is Wacko. yeah. We are reviewing day eight from the Booze Bud Christmas Advent Calendar, and it is Wayward Brewing Raspberry Berliner Weiss. How can oh, I get this? Shot? Weissen. Which is what people are calling sours. There we go. I got. I got it. That was good. Good work. Pretty difficult. Uh, full size can, 3.8%. 10 IBU. I think you've had this. I haven't had this one. I don't think I've had this one. Wayward beers are unpasteurized. Please keep refrigerated and cold. Dr Oops. Dry and refreshing sour ale. That's more. Well, it's not been hot, luckily, up until now. It's just been on my bedroom floor. Um, oh, no. I opened it and I just spilt a tiny bit while I was trying to read. We'll survive. Whoops. It's only a little bit. It's only a little that bit. That's issue. All right, we'll read it after we pour it. That'd be clever. <laughs> a bit of homo. Leave me alone. <laughs> mm, I'm not looking forward to this. I enjoy sours. Although I'm, I'm getting a bit getting a bit picky now because I've had so many. I'm like, whoa. That could be better. Yeah. Right, it's definitely pinky. Um, so the ridiculous, this ridiculously refreshing beer, formerly known as Sourpuss, oh. is our take on a classic Berliner Wee style, bursting with bright raspberry flavours, balanced by zippy tartness and a crisp, dry finish. It's summer in the glass or straight from the can. This brew beer was brewed and packaged on our site, on our brewery in Camperdown, certified independence. So I had one of these a couple of weeks ago in uh, Newport in a pub there uh, and they had it on tap. It was a raspberry parfait. Newport and Melbourne. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, sorbet something, something goodness. It was yum. It smells like raspberries. It smells like raspberries, yeah. That's, that's zingy. It is very zingy. We had um, Tinnies have released a, a raspberry sour at a lower price, and it, this is a step above that. Oh, Jesus, yeah, you it? can tell the difference between. Yeah. It's well crafted. Yeah, someone, mm. yeah, someone's put a bit more effort into it for the money. Like I'd rather pay the extra money. A few more raspberries, perhaps. You can taste the raspberry. I really like the zinginess in it. A lot of them are missing their zinginess now. I reckon they're just brewing lolly water for kids to drink, basically. I've had this conversation before, I, I think. I think we have, yes, but it's probably the truth. Yes. It's like Alco Pop or whatever. So there's, it's nice and tangy. You can taste sour, tangy berries. Yep. Pretty much all you like. You could smash that down. On a, any day, but definitely a hot summer's day on the veranda. Yum. 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 That's good. Yep. Yeah, my only beef is I want the more, more alcohol in there, but that's what they're doing. 3.8%. Yeah. It's like it's, I guess, it's you know, under 4%. I'm calling middies. Yeah, I'd say midi. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know. What is the rule? That's mm, hear my kids in the background having the soup. Um, that's pretty good. I, I don't really have anything else to say. Like it's pretty much as it says. There's a raspberry sour, a zingy. Um, yeah, it says balance, zippy tartness, and a crisp, dry finish. Summer in the glass. It pretty much it is what it says on the can, which is really nice because yeah. as we've said in this, in our reviews in the past, some people are just telling fibs on the can. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, this is really nice, really classy. I recommend this. I I don't know how many hay rondas. This is hard. I mean, did you say that that's in Melbourne, Cam Camperdown or something? It was in Camperdown. I don't know where Camperdown is. I feel like it's Melbourne. It might be wrong. But if it is, yeah. we should go there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Excuse me. How many hay rondas? I reckon a good seven. Yeah, I was, I was going seven. I was not a six. So no. Maybe maybe it's not amazing enough to be eight. No. But it is what it says. Like, they've done what they said. Yep. It's really good. It's it's a level above the cheapo. Not cheapo, but the 
more affordable ones mm -hmm. you're seeing around. But it's not up there with some of the. It's not as. I don't know. The Green Beacon Passion Fruit Gozer is a step above. We've had some, some of the Hop Nations. Hop Nation mm -hmm. Sours we've had a nicer. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, if you see it, buy it and drink it and just chill out and relax. Anyone could drink that. No, I can't imagine anyone's not going like that. People might go, oh, it's so sour. Maybe a little bit because it's got a proper but, tangy, but, but you get used to it. Yeah. Like wine but drinkers even, could drink even that. Fizz, guys. Cider drinkers could drink that. Beer drinkers Sherbet. could drink that. Yeah. Yeah, it's really yum. All right, we'll wrap it up. Wayward Brewing, Raspberry, Berlin, Vies. Weissen. Seven Hey Rondas. Seven. Woo. Cheers. Cheers.